Phil Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 60, my dear, and loving son John. Your good friend, the schoolmaster, Pat McNamara, so good as to write these words down. Your brothers have all gone to find work in England, the house is bold, empty and sad. And the crop of potatoes are sorely infected, a third to a half of them bad. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are getting married in June. Your mother said not to work on the railroad, be sure to come on home soon. Kill Kelly, I am in 18 and 70, my dear and loving son John. Hello to your missus and to your four children, and may they grow healthy and strong. And Michael's got in a wee bit of trouble, I suppose, that he never will learn. Because of the dampness, there's no turf to speak of, and now we have nothing to burn. Bridget is happy and named a child for her, although she has six of her own. You say you found work, you don't say what kind or when you'll be coming on home. To Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 80, dear Michael and John, my sons. I'm sorry to give you the very sad news your dear old mother passed on. We buried her down at the church in Kilkelly, your brothers and Bridget were there. Don't have to worry, she died very quickly. Remember her in your prayers. And it's so good to hear that Michael's returning with money sure to buy land. Where the crop is poor and the people are selling for any price that they can. Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 90, my dear and loving son John. I suppose I must be close on 80, it's 30 years since you've gone. And because of all of the money you sent me, I'm living out of my own. Michael's built himself a fine house and Bridget's daughters have grown. Thank you for sending the family photos of lovely young women and men. We say you might even come for a visit. What joy to see you again. Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 92, my dear brother John. I'm sorry I didn't write sooner to tell you that father passed on. He was living with Bridget, she said he was cheerful and healthy right up to the end. Ah, you should have seen him playing with the grandchildren of Pat McNamara, your friend. And it's funny the way he kept talking about you. He called for you at the end. Oh, why don't you think about coming to visit 
We'd all love to see you again.